because I have no weapons. I'm you don't, we don't know that. I'm asking you to leave. I'm asking you to leave my residence. I'm about to put you in handcuffs, sir. Don't you put me in handcuffs. What? Turn around, put your hands around your back. Yeah. Put down the damn phone. You're calling 911 or we're standing right in front of you. The cuffs wouldn't be on you if you weren't acting okay, the way you are. Acting by exercising my confidence. Okay, have a seat. The worst thing you can do is make a 911 call right in front of them. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In 2019, the VA called the LAPD to do a wellness check on a veteran they had seen as a patient shortly after the officers arrived. Slade Douglas answered his door. Hi, Doug. Douglas. Douglas, Mr. Slade. Yes. How you doing? All right. We got a call from, uh, was it the veterans? I don't know what they called for. Can we come in and talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is there anyone else in the house? No, that's me. So, I'm just going to make sure nobody else is no, in the No, please, no, 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 no. Hold on, I asked you no. All right, so, all right, all right, just relax. I'm going to ask you to leave, because this is my house. Okay. Number one, you just can't walk around. Let me ask you just a couple questions. Okay. The veterans, people, they, they were concerned, okay, regarding a couple things. One was which that you were threatening to commit suicide. That's not true. Okay, so what I'm here for is just to make sure you're not going to do something like that. You understand? So if you need our help, that's what, what I'm here for. I'm okay. So we're not here to mess with you, bother you, or anything Well, you do understand if you just walk in my place and you just automatically start walking around. And I know y'all wear body cams as well. I'm so unfortunate, too. If you just come in my place like that and you just start walking around, you have to have my permission to do that. So I don't appreciate that. You can't violate my rights because you got to call me. Okay. Right. So you're not... You're not helping me if you just come in and you automatically start violating. Well, sir, it was more for like officer safety. No, it's not officer safety because I, don't, I didn't even have to let you in. Right. So, so uh, no, no, well, don't say right because it's about my safety because you're in my domain. And if you're here to help me, you can't say, well, my safety is because I have no weapons. Yeah. Obviously, you you don't, we don't know that. You do know that because I'm asking you to leave. Please leave. I'm asking you so to leave. You don't feel like I know. I'm asking, I'm asking you to leave. Please, like please, please. I'm asking you to leave my residence. Well, if you answer this question, then we'll I'm asking. I'm asking you to leave my residence. I'm about to put you in handcuffs, sir. If All you right? do that, that's your choice. Okay, turn around. Put your hands around. Why would you put me in handcuffs? What? Turn around. Put your hands around your back. What have I done? You're going to listen to what I said. You're going to put down the phone. You're calling 911, and I'm standing right here. But what have I done? Put down the damn phone. Why are you Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Why are you using profanity? Put your hands behind your back. Why are you using... Because you know what? You're calling 911, and we're standing right in front of you. But I'm asking you to leave my residence. I'm not leaving your place now. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. You said you can't get a help. I'm not doing that now. Put your hands behind your back. You're calling 911 right in front of us. Because I asked you to leave my residence. We can't leave. You know this. We determined. You know this. You know exactly what I'm talking about. No, if I you were law enforcement, then you would understand. Okay. And this is why African Americans have issues with law enforcement. Don't start that. Right? Don't start that. That's a bunch of I concepts. asked you to leave, and you used profanity at someone? That's okay. I could use that. Oh, really? For someone yeah. who you concerned about yes. doing something to themselves? Hey, you know what? When you're not listening to commands, what did you do? That wasn't a command. All right. A command for me to ask you to leave my residency? You got you, you got to command us to do I can ask you to leave if you're not supposed Why are you here? You were here to help me, and I are here because somebody wanted us to shut and I And I told you I was fine. And then you started exacerbating my condition. You why are you putting your hand up like for me not to speak? You can't help a person if you don't want to listen to what they are saying. If I ask you to leave because you're exacerbating my disability, which clearly you're aware I'm a person with a disability because you already observed, number one, you see a sign right here. The saying that. that number two. How do I know what that is? Yeah. What is that? Oh, well, how do you? What do you? How mean? do you know I don't have one? You could, but guess what? If you had one and you came in my residency and I so, came, so you're, you're, you're the say, victim you, here, right? You're the victim here, right? Well, you guys are, vic are victimizing me, and now I'm in cuffs. Well, you're in cuffs now because of the way you're acting. Why? I asked Who else not is to here? Touch my don't, don't, Why don't, are you grabbing me? I'm not doing relax. anything. Relax. Okay, so, 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 relax. But I asked you not to move. Relax. Okay, that's a violation. You can you do it. Stand right there. No, you cannot. Why not? Because you are in our custody right now. You are detained. Okay. 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 I'm we, you know what? You can you could call up whoever you talk to and tell them 
explain to them yeah, why we're step here. On my rug, That's a very expensive rug. Who says I want to step on your rug? You might, why are you acting are like these your shoes? See, yes, they okay, are. Okay, good. You can put them on. You have ID with you? Uh, I do, but I need to get it. I can't get it. I'm good. Where's your ID? Would you please remove your hands off of me? No, I will not. Not, no, I will not. no, I will not. No, I will not. And I recommend you don't resist. So put your shoes on. Why would I resist so you, y'all can Go put, put my your shoes on? That's what y'all want to do anyhow. What's your problem? You? You know what? We came here because you called for help. I, I didn't, didn't call, I didn't call you. I didn't call you. Who did you call? I did not call Who you. Who did you call? I didn't call you. Who do you think they're going to call? I don't know. Okay. Obviously, I wouldn't want them to call you all. Well, they did. Okay. Okay. Well, well, and now you're you're in our custody mm-hmm. because you're under a mental evaluation. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Okay. okay. And the body cams are working too. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Good. Absolutely. Where's your ID? Do you want your ID? I can't get it because I'm not going to allow you to go through my things. Here. Okay. So you don't own any weapons. I already showed you that I had no weapon. I don't know I that. that. I don't know that. Okay, you don't know anything. Because I could go looking for anywhere that you might have a weapon if you're going on a 5150 hole. I shouldn't be on a 5150 hole. Why don't you? That's, a, that's an abuse of authority to put someone on a 5150 hole. Who has shown no sign of Are these your keys to your apartment, sir? They are. Okay. okay. And I, I don't believe you are law enforcement the way you are acting. I don't, I don't. I can't believe you are law enforcement either. But you are. Yeah. Which yeah, you yeah. see it all too often in terms of how law enforcement act. Act towards two. Hey, could you go to let Aaron go? Let Aaron know that I'm being unlawfully detained. Don't worry about. Could you do that for me, Aaron? The lease, the, the manager here. Could you let him know? Could you let him know? Aaron. Yeah, you can be Go tell Donna room. for me. Will you go tell Donna for me? Aaron right here, Donna. John, go go tell Aaron that I'm being unlawfully detained. Aaron. Yes. For no reason. For no reason whatsoever. You called us. I did not call you. Oh, I called you so you why are you using the alarm bar on me? I'm turning around. What are you? Oh, I gotta face this way now. Why am I acting? Where you're acting? What you how? What you mean? How am I acting? I hope this is gonna be worth it to you. I hope it's gonna be worth it. Yeah, I'm not the way you're doing. It depends for me to say. I don't, I, uh, I don't disagree with that. Well, you don't pull I, me. You, I, what you don't mean don't pull, pull you? I'm walking. Don't I'm pull walking. Me. What you mean don't pull you? You think I'm, I'm, here just, you think I'm just here for the fun of it? Yeah, apparently you decided to escalate the matter. Think, so yes. Do you think I'm yes, the fun of it? I do. Yes, I do. You okay. escalated the matter. You escalated the matter. You will be sitting down in this car, okay? Why would not I not sit down in this car? Good, thank you, sir. Slade has now been arrested, but it's unclear exactly what for. Calling a mental health hotline is not unlawful, and Slade denies that he claimed he said anything to the extent of harming himself. The officers lack enough information to initiate a 5150 hold, and appear to only have arrested Slade for asking them to leave and dialing 911 in the presence of law enforcement. The worst thing you can do is make a 911 call right in front of us. I can do what I want to if you're violating my rights. Don't tell me. Oh, so that's retaliation then. I can do what I can call wherever I want to. I have not violated any laws. If I want to call 911, I can call 911. Y'all don't always no. act in accordance to the law either. Plenty of y'all get arrested and, and in prison. Your badge don't make you above the law. Your badge, your badge does not cause me not to have rights. I violate the Not when I'm there, sir. Yeah, what do you mean not when you're there? It's it's. If I ask you to leave. Well, you're not gonna let me answer. Then I'm not gonna answer. Okay, but well, no. you have a lot of answers. Actually, what you did was against the law. It's not against the law. What you did was against was against my rights. So it was against the law as well. Your badge does not allow you to deny a person their constitutional rights. When I ask you to leave, you should leave. You asked me. I told you that I was in, in no danger to myself or others. 
Mighty Mountain, and that was that basic part of the observation. So when I asked you to leave, I think you guys know that you very much a disability. You should have left. You don't just hate me because I'm asking you to leave my race. The officers attempted to call a supervisor, but are first unable to get a hold of anyone, and after 10 minutes in cuffs, the veteran's physical disabilities became inflamed, so we asked to have the cuffs adjusted. Okay, give me one second, I will, give me, now I will not put them in the front. I will fix them though, I will fix them. Yes. I told you guys that's what I'm going to do, so be quiet. Zoom because my disability is activated. And then you're going to raise your force to get Hey, you won't let me get it. We're going to get up. Get up. You can speak to me in a different tone as well. You don't need to scroll. And don't say that I am because you claim you're supposed to be helping me. It's the right. These cuffs are just fine. right. And it's not that it's useless to position it on my arm. What are you talking about? I have a... Okay, you're aware you that I'm a disabled about? veteran, right? Are you sure? Yeah, well, okay, that's what I you're saying. I have several curvy You see, there's plenty of room there. No, it's not about the room. It's there's the positioning of my arm. Well, how do you want your arms? I, I need this cuff to be removed so from the front. You know what? The cuffs wouldn't be on you if you weren't acting okay, the way you are. Whatever. Acting by exercising my constitutional rights. Okay, have a seat. I just, I just checked your cuffs. Get okay, in. it's not the cuffs. It's the positioning of my arms. I requested the accommodation. That's, that's uh, how the LAPD does no, their handcuffs. You can also have a seat. You can, so, that's the purpose of asking for a reasonable accommodation. And that was the reasonable no, accommodation. No, the reasonable accommodation is to re reposition my arm because it's exactly my Reposition it how? I need it in the front because it's exacerbated. That's not how we do. That's not how we do our handcuffs. Thing, well, the thing about asking for a reasonable accommodation is a policy exception. No, we don't have a policy exception yes, for that. Yes, you do. Everyone's no. complies by it. Okay, no, no, no. Not police do not. Police do not. I just explained to you what we did. You haven't done anything. It has nothing to do with the cuffs. It's the positioning of my arm. The officers finally get a hold of someone and request a supervisor to arrive on scene. You know what? Call a supervisor. Mr. Slate, what's your birthday? I, uh, call a supervisor. I requested a superior officer. Okay, we're going to take you to see one. You need to leave now, then. I'm in pain. I'm requesting to see a superior officer. All right. We're going to take you right hey, now. This is uh, Wheeler from Central Division. How are you? Good. I'm out here in the field, and we have a... Uh, uh, this uh, we got a radio call the second hand uh, caller from uh, the veterans crisis hotline and anyways we're out to his place according to the uh, comments he was considering committing that's not we're true. here we're here at scene um have him in custody but we cannot get a hold of uh, the actual pr who was calling from the um, veterans crisis he said he did call them but he did not threaten to one X forty five. X forty five. Can I get a supervisor? Can I get a supervisor for our location? For our location. City Central Supervisor Meet One X forty five two five five South Front. Yeah, I actually tried to call. I actually tried to call them, and uh, wasn't able to uh, reach her. I mean, that, that's a, probably a huge, uh, <laughs> huge bureaucracy. While waiting. The officers laugh off the possibility of a lawsuit. As soon as I'm out of here, I'm it's going to be on everything. Oh, that's fine, sir. Yeah, I, I, you think I'm lying. And I'm suing them. Why? Okay. <laughs> you can laugh. I'm glad you find it funny. No, sir, I was just, we're, we got your uh, date of birth. I don't care what you got. Eventually, Slade would ask for medical assistance for the pain in his neck. Maybe we can do that, because... We don't... Are you going to help me with the handcuffs? No, no, look. I'm going to ask you something, okay? Well, I want to talk to you for a second. My arm is exacibated. Douglas, Douglas. I don't want to talk to you. Because that's what we do. I don't want you to be in handcuffs. I need medical attention. I need medical attention. I need medical attention. Could you take me to get medical attention? Yes, you will get medical attention. I need it immediately. Okay. I've asked for a reasonable accommodation for the last 15 minutes. Douglas, you, guys aren't you requested a supervisor. I called one. No, I, but now one. he's taking them to. I need okay. I requested an accommodation okay. as well. I'm okay. an ADA okay. and okay. a California okay. disability okay. person. Okay. You guys are refusing to do that. Douglas. Why you if, you don't, like if you don't that. need... If you don't need medical yeah. assistance... I said I need medical attention. I don't know why you would say something different than what I just said. 
I need medical attention. Yes, you need to get any medication. Two, I'm not three. answering that question. I need medical attention. You need okay. Me. What's your birthday? I'm not answering that question either. They're going to need this information. They, they, I'm already to tell you what you mean. They're going to need it. You already got me in coach now? Shit. They're going to find it out anyhow. I'm not answering any of your questions. You don't want to answer any questions. I don't have to. You, have, you haven't even told me about it. Hi. You can call him an ambulance and then he can go with them if he wants. <clears throat> Douglas! So you would like me to call you an ambulance? I need, I need medical attention. You would like me Whatever to call you an ambulance? Whatever that you guys use, I need medical Okay, attention. can you tell me the... Yeah, we'll call I already ambulance. said it many times. We'll, we'll, we'll call you an ambulance. Once I requested a reasonable accommodation, it was 15 well, minutes no, ago. Well, no, you got to say what you need. I no, need I requested, you need. I requested a reasonable accommodation. You didn't grant it. As a result of that, it is exacerbated. I, I do not put you, I do not put your hands up in front of That's not going to happen. Excuse me? Your hands are not going to be placed in front of you. Okay. That's not how we do things. Well, the whole purpose of a reasonable accommodation is to make don't do it like that. No. You're not even a superior officer, you don't. Okay. Douglas, we don't need like What do you need? What do you need? I need the ambulance ambulance for attention. For? But the, the, my exacerbation of disability. Cervical radiculopathy, the C5 and C6. Okay. Due to the handcuffs. Okay. And the abusive touching that you did as okay. well on the elevator. Okay. You're here because you're requesting all these services. <laughs> you're not giving it. That's the problem. Why am I still I'm calling you an ambulance. Why was I handcuffed in the first place? Because I called 911. 1X45. Can I get an RA? RA 255 for now. Approximately 30. You're in custody because you're under a mental evaluation. Complaining of pain to his neck. You don't have authority to put me When the VA calls us, yes, we do. Yes, we do. No, it is not that. You don't get to do that. That is against the law. You don't get to do that. You don't get to do that. No, you do it. Who are you going to call? The police on the police? Yes. No, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen, sir. You're more than happy to speak to a supervisor about what we did here today. You're more than happy to speak to a supervisor. That's fine. It's gonna be more than That's fine. I hope it is fine. It's not a problem, sir. I really could use some help. Douglas, to this Douglas, will you listen to me for a second? I have been listening. Okay. You haven't been listening I'm to not me. Here. I'm not here to fight you, argue you with you. You already have. Listen, will you, you know, just hear me out for a second? No, I don't need to hear you. You got me in fucking Hear me for a second. I don't need to. Don't, you don't need to talk to me. I asked for accommodation. You can't help. Don't try to, don't try to, you know, deviate from what y'all did out there. It's okay. You can say whatever you like. I know I can. You don't have to tell me. I already know I can. Yeah. How many of got spine issues from uh, previous injuries? And and from you putting your hands on me, X there was an additional injury. Well. Complained of pain. Okay. I know. Uh, okay. That's my disabled okay. military veteran. Roger. Thirty minutes after being cuffed, a supervisor arrives on scene. Hey, sir. I'm, I'm rolling here. Yeah. Okay, so uh, got a call from the VA. Yeah. Uh, Apparently, this guy threatened to commit suicide over the phone. Then I hung up the phone, so it generated a call with the VA, called us. Get out here. We get up to the apartment. Um, he's in there. Um, he opens the door for us. He actually lets us in. I hang, uh, after a few minutes, uh, start just check and make sure nobody else is in there. Um, we handcuff, uh, handcuff him because he immediately gets irate. Starts calling 911 on his phone because now he's asking us to leave. But it's like at that point, I'm already there, so put him in handcuffs. Um, I'm not able to get a hold of the lady from the VA. Whoever puts whoever uh, called it in, I I have to try to find her extension somehow. Um, but he he's just been completely irate the whole time. Um, he's in handcuffs. He wants his handcuffs in the front. I told him I cannot do that. I made sure his handcuffs were loose enough. They weren't restricting any any type of, of uh, issue with his hands or anything like that. But like I said, he's completely 415. He wants a supervisor. Called him an RA. He's got he said he's got pre-existing uh, 
injuries from the military won't answer any of our questions, won't work with us at, in the slightest, yeah. but that's where we're at. Well, to us, at this point, he won't answer any of our questions to do anything. But I and, and then after we got him in handcuffs, anything I started making the phone calls. Uh, MEU says, "Oh yeah, well, okay, we'll have a team at the station for you to meet us there." Uh, but as far as uh, me verifying what he said with the VA, I can't. Yeah, can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, MEU is going to meet meet us there at the station. Okay. All right. So what display? You didn't let us finish our investigation. What you mean? You, no, you no, that, that's, no, no. That, you, that's no, no reason you, to put someone. Yes, on it is. Why? Because you was violating my rights. We're not violating any rights. How can you say that? We did not conduct our investigation. What was your investigation? To see you had, to see if you needed and to I be placed. That, that, that I was good. Okay. You didn't let us finish our investigation. Uh, okay. 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 All right. All right. Okay. The same, the oh, okay. If that's how you like to see it. All right, Douglas, this is our supervisor. Slade explains that he was put in custody for calling 911 and the extent of his disabilities to the supervisor, during which an ambulance arrives. How you doing, sir? Um, he's, he's, this guy's been very difficult with us. He's, he's in custody for uh, 5150 evaluation. The thing is, he has prior... Uh, uh, injuries to his back, I, I guess the C-spine issue or something from previous injury in the military or something like that. Okay. And he requested an ambulance. So here we are. Uh, but it's, I mean, so, there, I know there's nothing you can so really So he's see. able to try on scene, walking, talking, oh, yeah. awake and alert. Yeah. And we're going to the hospital because... You know what? If he says if if he says he doesn't want to go, does he uh, still have to go? Oh, I'm, is this, he, I'm asking. Is he in custody? Yes. Okay. So he's gonna. So he's so we're here because he says he doesn't want to go bike squat. All right, let's go by a No. Why you're here is I was gonna take him to the station to get evaled uh, by our mental evaluation people, uh, but he has been so difficult with us, and now he's claiming he's got previous back injuries and wants us to reposition his handcuffs and we can't do that okay. so that that's that's where we're at all right we're here for a mental evaluation okay and so when we have him in handcuffs he doesn't obviously like being in handcuffs so now he's complaining we need to move his handcuffs to the front we can't do that so he's saying it's irritating his, oh, his nice previous injuries from from the military do you have any medical complaint before you guys got down here no so if they don't transport them, uh, yeah, we'll just take them to the station. I mean, there, there's nothing medically. Right, right. I don't think so. All right, so. Yeah. If there's nothing medically. So, yeah. so here's the deal. How much time you have on? 20. I have 34. So the smartest thing's going to be put them on a gurney, handcuff them to the rails, take them to the hospital. Tell him that, tell the doctor that he's complaining that he's got previous back injuries and he fell in a couple position he was and you need to clear him. That way it takes all the liability out of you guys, takes it off the city. I think it'll be I think, it it'll, be, I think it'll be the only most that'll be the best thing to do. Sounds good to me. Okay. We got so we're on the same What page. information does, does he have? So all I need is his is, is you know his, his name, birthday, address he's got for his homeless. But we'll basically do that. So okay. Slade is then handcuffed to a gurney and taken to the hospital. Actually, here, stand up here for a second. Did you stop putting your hands on me? I know, I have to. I'm going to get make up sure myself, though. Okay, okay go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just going to make sure. I'm you asking you to remove your hand. You no, I'm not. Arm. Stand up, okay, please. See, I just questioned again. They don't want to leave. I called 911. They detained me. They saying I'm on a 5150 home. They saying I'm on a 5150 home. Don't be telling everybody that. I can tell people what the hell I want you to do. You're, you're going for an evaluation. Yeah. Yeah. He wants, he wants medical help, he gets medical help. And yeah. Just, hey, yeah, and then they can just tell the doctor. Exactly.
According to medical records, Slade was forcibly injected multiple times while double cuffed to the gurney. While incapacitated, he was placed in leather restraints and put on a catheter. After his release, he would sue asking for $10 million in damages. But the officers, of course, would ask to be granted qualified immunity and for the case to be dismissed. But the judge rejected the dismissal, ruling that officers Wheeler and Yabana are not entitled to qualified immunity for the unconstitutional detention, excessive force, retaliation, violation of due process, violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act, violation of the Bain Act, battery, false arrest, imprisonment, and negligence. The judge further stated that the city is vicariously liable for the officer's actions. And now, the officers are set to face trial early next year over the false arrest, sexual abuse, and forced hospitalization. But there is no word whether or not they are to face criminal charges or if the LAPD plans to discipline the officers. So, let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. And of course, as further news of the lawsuit emerges, I will be sure to let you know. But in the meantime, be sure to check out one of my other videos linked on screen.